All right, welcome to The Explainer. Today, we are diving into a really big shift in how we're all interacting with AI. And what's wild is that it's all based on a surprisingly old school idea, the standard operating procedure. So let's kick things off with a story about, of all things, manufacturing. Because honestly, it is the perfect analogy for what's happening in AI right now. See, back in the day, to make anything consistent, whether it was a CD or, you know, a service, you needed a clear, repeatable process. And that's it. That's an SOP. And that one simple idea is what's driving the next big leap for AI. We're moving away from these kind of unpredictable general assistants and into a world of reliable, specialized agents that can just nail complex tasks perfectly every single time. So let's get into how this actually works. Okay, so first things first. Why is this, you know, kind of boring, old-school idea of a standard operating procedure suddenly so critical for the future of AI? Well, it turns out it's becoming the central playbook for building way smarter, much more powerful AI tools. It's kind of funny, right? The exact same rules that make a factory run like clockwork, they apply directly to making AI work better. Think about it. Human teams need SOPs to make sure they're doing things right every time to cut down on mistakes, while AI agents need the same thing. But honestly, they need it even more. For an AI, these instructions are like guardrails. They're what stop it from hallucinating or going off script, and they make sure the final result is exactly what you asked for. So when you boil it all down, it really comes to this one simple truth. The better and more structured the context you give an AI, you know, like an SOP, the better and more reliable the results are going to be. It's, it's almost like quality in, quality out. These models basically build their answers based on what you feed them. So the higher the quality of that recipe you give it, the better the cake's going to taste. It's as simple as that. Okay, so that's the theory. Now let's look at how this whole concept is actually turning into a real-world product. A company called Anthropic has taken this exact idea and baked it right into their AI model, Claude. And they're calling this new feature Skills. So what is a skill? Well, just think of it like a super detailed recipe or maybe a toolkit that the AI can just grab to get a specific job done right. So instead of having to explain every single little step, every single time you want to say format a document or analyze a spreadsheet, nope. You just hand the AI the right toolkit and it knows exactly what to do. And this is where it gets really cool because it shows you just how flexible this system is. We're not talking about just a static, boring prompt here. No, these are dynamic, reusable parts. You can stack them together, use them in the chat, in your code, through the API, anywhere you use Claude. And the best part, the AI is smart. It only loads the skill when your request actually makes it relevant. Super efficient. Okay, so that begs the question, right? How does Claude know which recipe card to pull from its library when you ask it to do something? Well, it's a really clever, totally automated process. Let's take a quick look under the hood. Now, full disclosure, Anthropic hasn't told us the exact secret sauce here. We don't know if it's a similarity search or some other magic. But what we do know is that the whole process is designed to be totally seamless for you. You just make your request and poof, Claude automatically finds and uses the right set of complex instructions all in the background. You don't even see it happen. And the blueprint for all this? It's actually super simple. At the core of every single skill is just one file, a skill.md file, a simple markdown file. That's the central command document. It directs the whole show, telling the AI the what, the why, and the how for that specific task. And then they did something that's just brilliantly meta. Anthropic actually created a skill creator which is itself a skill that's designed to help you build new skills. So yeah, they built a standard operating procedure for building standard operating procedures. It literally walks you through the whole process of designing your own custom workflows and making sure they're packaged up just right so Cloud can use them. All right, let's zoom out for a second because this whole idea, packaging up instructions into these reusable skills or agents, this isn't just an anthropic thing. It's actually becoming a core pattern across the entire AI industry. This isn't just a one-off feature, folks. This is a paradigm shift. I mean, look around. You're seeing all the heavy hitters doing this. You've got Anthropic with their skills. You've got Google with Gemini CLI extensions. And of course, OpenAI with custom GPTs and apps. They are all pointed in the exact same direction. They're all building out these ecosystems for specialized instruction-following agents. And this is the real takeaway here. The whole way we think about AI interfaces is changing. 
It's transforming from just a simple chat app into a full-on command center. You're not just chatting with an AI anymore. You're directing a platform that's loaded with your own personal, skilled agents just waiting to execute complex jobs whenever you need them. So, okay, what does all this mean for you personally? And how can you actually start using this new power? Let's get practical and talk about the key takeaways. Okay, here are some pro tips if you're thinking about building your own AI SOPs. First, and this is really interesting, structured code often works better and more reliably than just plain English. Second, these skills are unbelievably token efficient. That means they use a tiny amount of the model's brain power to do a lot of work, which can actually save you money. And hey, here's a really crucial one for anybody building their own secret sauce. Don't forget you can go into the settings and turn off model training on your data to protect your work. And that brings us to a really fascinating strategic piece of this puzzle. As you start digging into the skills that are already out there, you need to pay close attention to the licensing. Seriously, because it tells you a ton about the competitive landscape and where these AI platforms are headed. So you'll notice that not all skills are created equal. The basic stuff, like that skill creator we talked about, that's open source, free for everyone. But the more complex, high value skills, especially the ones that deal with specific documents like Excel files, those are proprietary. Anthropic is protecting that IP. And what that does is it sends a really clear signal. They see these specialized SOPs as a major competitive advantage, and they're planting their flag. So really, the big takeaway from all of this is that the barrier to creating your own highly specialized, super reliable AI assistant, well, it just got lowered dramatically. The tools are now right there in your hands to build a personal agent for pretty much any task you can think of. So the final question really isn't just what you're going to build. It's what's the most creative, the most unusual, the most out there skill you can possibly dream up.